within five minutes, Dr. Kim will present the physical okay. thing. And we have only one hour. And then, uh, so basically, you will present everything. And then we will comment to the two professor. And uh, lastly, we will have a question answer. And okay, we will great. conclude this uh, meeting. Okay. So officially, uh, so maybe I must start. So welcome, uh, welcome this uh, uh, Zoom conference, uh, the Central uh, Vision Nepal. Vision Nepal is a non-profit organization and have uh, experience to connect, uh, especially Korea and Japan. So this COVID-19, we are really locked down in Nepal and we cannot go home. Even the, this kind of crisis and the permanent the educator uh, principal in the worry about their job, uh, the school teacher and the student are in home. And we are the people who want to do something. That's why now I, I all invite the representative, the, the university and the professor and the college principal and some youth leader and uh, ladies and women, even not in Nepal, in from Maldives and uh, Myanmar, in Thailand and enter the non resident Nepali in the, all over the world. And they still the, uh, from Australia, so soon is coming. The uh, Buddhist is here. Buddhist sir. Buddhist Karki. Mm. So I oh. all welcome to you. And so uh, namaste, I'm uh, Sudip so, Karki, I think it's right. Uh, Sudip Karki from Australia. Oh. Uh, he also, uh, he will also see her. Uh, he is the one who providing uh, many facility, uh, IT facility, the government school, Nepal army, and uh, and he has some uh, similar Dr. Kim. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so uh, let let first uh, all all come to you. Even this COVID-19, so we are doing something the, for the sake for the humanity and mm -hmm. our technology, and we look for the better future tomorrow. And uh, so le let me welcome all of you. And then so uh, I would like to uh, start. Uh, le let have your own seat and uh, welcome Dr. Kim from Korea and oh. his presentation. Okay, thank Dr. you. Dr. Kim, forward. Okay, thank you very much for Shiva-san. I believe Shiva Sang bring a new uh, message to every people and we can exchange our knowledge how we can work together to change the paradigm of uh, current education platform. Even we have uh, uh, COVID uh, difficulties, today we are watching together. Many people uh, joining this uh, Zoom class, I call this class is Zoom class using iStudio. The product name, the technology I'm using is called Zoom class. Which means, uh, even every people here showing their face, their, their participant face. So I call this is the face-to-face -face teaching. Even when I use classroom, I cannot see simultaneously all the people in a one plane. But now, we can watch each other. You are feeling that you are sitting in front of my uh, Zoom classroom, which is different from other people. Important thing is watching this video is not worse than watching at the real classroom. Everybody currently worry about the uh, remote teaching, online classroom. <coughs> but what I bring here is actually solving the problem of real classroom that we may enhance the way of teaching even we have a distance learning. Once we really make uh, interactive, bi-directional, uh, the distance learning in real time, as like we are doing. This is world first. Nepal, Korea distance interactive teaching which makes a better education than in the classroom. This is the big meaning. So uh, I can see every uh, people here just bring pointer whenever any person make a question here. For example, Sadiv uh, Kalkisang, if I make uh, this way and then make a, a presentation like this, presentation over uh, anything, we can easily bring all the people who can show here, who can show there, who can bring this one, who can make uh, uh, the presentation there. This is 
really we can bring up any students who make a question and answer to show every people like this so what i'm bring here is how we provide the tools where the teacher i mean presenter can manage every zoom scene very effectively without worry about the equipment operation so this is a new way of teaching for teacher to use to have a classroom to everywhere in the world it's not limited on the classroom inside it's not limited on only the people who is sitting in front of you in any any uh, meeting room any office room when you bring the students they sit in your office room but actually you can connect more people from other places like i'm doing now this is what revolution i made and furthermore this technology uh, let's assume you have a powerpoint like this so if you have a powerpoint there is a point of powerpoint this is a simple powerpoint as you are daily using uh, material so you see this is very clearly watching normally in zoom when you have a presentation you you normally showing like this and there is all the uh, items you can show and next slide you can show you can show like this way but if you see all the video from YouTube YouTube is now become one of the classroom but what a pity thing is teaching actually uh, made by the teacher teachers role very important teachers face features emotion bring motivation is more important than transferring knowledge in a short time so what I'm emphasizing is the role of the teacher is not transferring to make a memory for the students but more important thing is teacher has to bring their motivation to study by themselves knowledge as a as a the training uh, monk always emphasize the training cannot be made by other people training has to be done by himself knowledge same in the classroom so what i'm very emphasizing is the teacher's face it's like you are watching my eye you have to watch my eye my face and my gesture so the feeling of the study is transferred from your mind to students, uh, students heart so what I bring here is the, uh, the uh, way how we invite the students to the classroom. We make a Zoom class using this iStudio. So students feeling that they are sitting in the classroom like I'm doing now. And I, I watch you and you watch me from your mobile phone. Whenever I have any person here, I can make uh, uh, him big. So the, uh, the, the, the question students that we can bring. So every people without switching from their Zoom, but they just fix my video as a presenter's uh, view, view way. So this view make a perfect classroom. <laughs> So a very simple uh, idea is we make uh, artificial intelligence control so teacher don't need to understand how to camera switching, how to make a view change, something like that. The only thing they should know is the same way as they are, they are teaching in the, in the classroom, the pointer change, drawing and page changing like this. So once we have this technique to every people, which means every classroom, every office, every professor room can create the content for the teaching content for every people in the world as like I'm doing. The teacher can use this machine to make a question and answer in real time. So what I'm emphasizing is watching my video now from your camera, from your from computer, from your mobile phone is actually better watching, better understanding than normal classical uh, classroom which means the distance between Korea and Nepal which is more than 2000 <laughs> yeah. yeah from this kind of uh, distance is not the problem the COVID uh, Hari Kobarsi, uh, Hari Kobar, sir, welcome to you yes sir yes thank you sir <laughs> yes sir okay so Welcome the uh, Equator International. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's me, Harish Kumar. Yeah, it's my company, I'm as Equator International. Uh, 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 Sharma from principal.
Okay, principal. Thank you very much for joining my my presentation. I will I will continue. I will continue to recognize uh, Dr. Kim. Okay, great. So what I'm showing once more, I'm emphasizing that this is the new way of teaching devices. It's like a projector coming to the classroom. It's like an electric whiteboard came to the classroom in the COVID environment. What I'm trying is bring new technology for people to see the classroom in the iStudio virtual Zoom classroom, which means all the students here can see this kind of video from any place in the world. So uh, this method is a new classroom teaching. As you imagine that all the classroom, uh, if you look at the classroom more than 300 years old, there was no blackboard. So this kind of technology. The Harichandra Neoparendai will come. Okay. So. The key point is, as I mentioned in the first presentation, now the way I am teaching is called tele-presentation. So what it means, distance place between Nepal and Korea is not anymore the problem because what you are watching here is better. If this video watching from your notebook, from your computer, from your mobile phone is better than the watching in the classroom, this is a big news for presentation history. So I'm trying to make this kind of uh, uh, the technology to everywhere, to your office, to your classroom, to your uh, any uh, meeting rooms. Once we have this one, then the knowledge from any person can share to everywhere in the world. The MIT uh, uh, the classroom, you can see from Nepal. So now Nepal government always worry about education in Nepal. But simply, once we put this one in good university, or good senior high school, junior school, whatever. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, please mute all the speaker uh, the, during the Dr. Kim is speaking. Thank you. So uh, th 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 this one, simple technology can change the classroom to have everybody understanding each other. So once you believe you are watching my presentation from your mobile phone can be used in everywhere and if you believe that this technology really changing the way of teaching in classroom in meeting room in any conference room this one will bring their presentation to everywhere this one will make a permanent classroom to any place any person any students which will open the classroom which will open the uh, schools so the knowledge we can share to every people in the world so the the limitation of classroom was the space and time so students has to come to the class to listen the Seoul National University you have to come and to have a degree but once we have classroom to everywhere, in any place, any person, any teacher can do distance teaching or a remote classroom interactively way, then the, the concept, paradigm of classroom, paradigm of teaching will be changed. So I will show you how this one happened from this machine. So when I invite the people to my class, see the, my classroom become beautiful class. Today I just select uh, one of the class which looks like a small temple style, style. Any photo picture you can change, you can make this. So the, the uh, invitee and teacher bring students to this kind of virtual classroom which is simulate the real classroom which is better than real class. And you don't have to pay big money to have this kind of a uh, classroom because you can simply change everything by yourself. So I will show you how easily we can make classroom by yourself. The first thing, for example, let me uh, bring this uh, the mountain picture uh, using a different way. So I can bring this picture uh, with uh, this kind of sky. Then it looks like uh, uh, I have a studio on the sky, on the cloud. And also this tool providing me to change the way of color like this. So I can make a color, blue color, red color, whatever easily without any program 
programming of Photoshop or 3D graphics. So uh, the first step, what I'm trying is to make a feeling that students feel as like a professional studio. So you are classroom, become very beautiful studio like this. And when you have uh, this kind of uh, uh, the uh, columns, uh, the the change, everything we can uh, we can change from here. Uh, the whatever. Uh, so the uh, uh, this kind of photo I can change this way. I can make a bigger. So to make a, a different decoration, you can do. Uh, this is the how we uh, make all the decoration of the classroom. Of course, the most important part in the classroom is to bring teacher's face and presenting material. But anyway, once we have beautiful picture in the background, the students will feel more comfortable to have classroom. Very short time, we can show beautiful studio. I can change the floor, I can change the desk. Everything is on your hand. I mean the teacher's hand. The first step teacher doing is selecting classroom. It's like they are going class one, class two, classroom three. You can select a unlimited class and you can modify the class to make your own style without any professional designer. This is quite important part for me to make a broadcast quality of classroom so the presentation video can stay with the history. Once you make one good presentation, this video can be stored in the library, not only your library, but also in YouTube, which can be the permanent lecture. So the so far the all the classroom teaching after after classroom nobody can see this one again. But once you make a, a teaching using this method, this video will stay forever. So teacher don't have to repeat the same lecture to every classroom. The students can watch and come to class. We can make a discussion and a question, which means flip learning really happening. So once the video in real time presentation can make uh, the uh, uh, the really uh, better presentation than the live, better presentation video than listening in the normal conventional class. This is a big meaning for human history. This is what I found. This method is really working. I had a short time experience in teaching in Korea, several university. I have a short time of teaching of the students in UC Berkeley. I know many tools, how they try to use the, the electric technology for enhance the way of teaching in the classroom. What I found is this iStudio is a new revolutionary method changing the way of teaching in the classroom, which can overcome the distance problem, overcome the size of classroom, overcome the conventional classroom blackboard problem where the students are always distracted by watching blackboard and teacher by using the, uh, the gesture from the teacher. But all this uh, students who individually trying to decide where they should watch is to made by this iStudio using the AI technology. So the students don't have to worry, they just watching this classroom. So whenever the teacher watching this, my, my eye going here, and then if I, if I move my pointer, this screen become bigger. So that way, every switching where they watch is very simply made from this machine. It makes a beautiful scene, it makes a beautiful clear message, so it doesn't matter whether the student sitting front or back, they have a smart video there. It doesn't matter 5,000 students in the classroom, it doesn't matter a million students watching there. This one really solved the way. It's like I'm doing the presentation from my office in, in Seoul, and you are watching my presentation in Nepal, and the Yamada-san watching this video from Japan, the the location is not a problem so the the this kind of uh, the presentation room from here from there uh, everything we can bring this uh, presentation in this screen so when any students make a question i can bring this way like that way so whenever students make a question yes i can make the presenter's video like this or this or this so uh, that way, in the classroom, when students make a question, they cannot see 
like this. Now, uh, Kassel uh, Sang in Nepal, you can see very nicely. I can make uh, the uh, Kaki Sang like that way. So every, every part very clearly we can show on the screen and every scene change yeah, is uh, automatic. Welcome. They're welcome. So uh, the, uh, in the classroom always we have uh, students, we have a uh, blackboard. And this is the virtual electric blackboard where I can show PowerPoint, where I can show my menu. This is the menu from the screen where I can make uh, anything from here. Easily I can switch this one to here and there. So the, the PowerPoint slide we can make uh, like this so they will bring the PowerPoint. And to change the PowerPoint, only click the left mouse, they change the next slide. If you click right click, they come back to this. So easy that any presenter don't need to study how to operate. The teacher coming and they know how to use this pointer. When I want to show myself, I can bring here. This is uh, assuming that my camera is here, which means this camera showing the students in the classroom. This is the uh, face-to-face -face classroom students coming sitting in the classroom. This is the students in outside of classroom. So this virtual eyes to classroom showing students either in the classroom or outside classroom same time. And then there is a blackboard where you can show whatever you want to show, picture, image, video, whatever. And these people now we uh, have online in real time. And any students make a question, I can make a big screen here to, uh, to make a student speaker. The Shiba-san, for example, I can make a Shiba-san bigger or uh, the, uh, any, any person we can bring for them to have a classroom here. So uh, uh, this, uh, this is the way how we bring all the students question and answer more clearly than in the classroom. Uh, any person who, who have a question we can bring. So this, uh, this device really making very different way of teaching. Bring all the students here so they make a question and answer. It's like they are sitting in front. So uh, uh, the, the only thing teacher has to do is uh, bring PowerPoint or a PDF and loading this one in one of the virtual screen, which means we can make many, many different screens there. Some simple version, we have one screen, a little bit more complicated, we can make uh, six screens there. And then the, uh, uh, the teacher, if they really want to modify, we, of course we provide all the, uh, all the settings so they don't need any big change. But once you want to change this one, for example, like I won't make a better camera position uh, like this. And then simply you can bring your camera uh, more bigger like this, smaller like this. So the, uh, this means the, we have a virtual uh, graphical studio where I won't put many cameras like a real camera sitting in the real classroom. So we are just bring teacher and teaching material and students in a virtual classroom. After this, we can, uh, we can make uh, the camera. So once you assume that your classroom, beautifully decorated studio classroom, we make like this. After that, the second stage is how we make a camera to show this one to the smartphone. It's like a zoom camera. You have uh, also people now using one camera. But we can put multiple camera. For example, this is one camera. And I want to see this camera like this way or this way, whatever. And then I can bring this uh, electric whiteboard on top of here. And then second board I can show here with a slightly bigger. And then I can bring this uh, student's uh, video here like this way. So every virtual camera position, we can reorganize the scenery, the electric whiteboard in different way for students to have better information there. After this, when you start uh, talking, the most important part in the, uh, in the classroom is how we bring this kind of uh, uh, the classroom in a different way. And once we have uh, the uh, uh, Madi Hap uh, uh, Sang here, so once we bring this one bigger, and Madi Hap Sang can talk like this. Uh, way. Okay. Welcome to uh, Madhav Raj Pandisa yeah, from, uh, from the 
the very uh, special from Gorkha, sir. Welcome. Okay. okay thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, welcome to here. We are doing the distance presentation to every people. Every people feeling like they are sitting in my virtual classroom. This is a new Zoom class. So it's like the older teacher asking students to come to the classroom to have a lesson. Now I am inviting people to the Zoom where they can see my classroom like this kind of room. So they feel as like they are virtual classroom. This is a new pattern technology which we are bringing in all the uh, countries. Uh, once it, with this machine in the in the uh, any classroom like MIT classroom, you will have a same scene in the classroom and same scene from your smartphone, which means all the classroom can be everywhere to any person in the world. So Nepal education we can bring from Korea, uh, education classroom from, from United States, from Germany, from England, no problem. Once we use this machine in the classroom, first the classroom students will watch this video. So their projector screen will have a big teacher, a big uh, electric whiteboard like this way. So students uh, don't need to switch their visual point from teacher to pro projector screen, but they are just watching big 300-inch TV screen where the teacher and teaching material coming automatically. And teacher's point, teacher don't need to anything, just clicking uh, whatever he want here, just clicking make a next page, so the student's classroom can go smart board, smartphone. What I'm emphasizing many times now today is watching this smartphone can be better education class than watching in the real class. Every Korea education people worry the quality of watching distance learning, the online class is much worse than the uh, uh, the listening in the in the real classroom. What I'm arguing is watching smartphone video using iStudio can be enhanced the concentration of watching because teacher always watching students. If I keep talking, my face automatically bring full screen. So my face, my gesture, my eye going every simultaneous eye in the classroom, not only in the classroom, but also the students in outside the classroom. So all nine students simultaneously can make eye contact, which will bring your heart to the students. That way the students can be motivated. And that video, once this one enhanced the way of teaching in the classroom, this video recorded one, of course you will see the video recorded one from YouTube, if you agree I can put there. Then this video, I don't have to repeat, this video can go everywhere, anytime, not only your generation, but also this video will stay forever with the history of human life. So that's the first time to have this kind of video on human history, which means we have to hurry to digging the mining, in the teaching content mining from every place. How many classrooms in Nepal has? I believe you have a more than uh, 20 or 30, more than that classroom in everywhere. How many K-12 you have in Nepal? How many classes in USA? How many classes in Korea? What a pity thing is, None of the classroom really make a video in real time. Even they have a bring all the camera in the classroom. Even they do recording and editing. They cannot make a video as like I'm doing now. That's a, that's a limitation of technology. That's the way we, every teacher, every uh, school thinking, every minister of education always thinking there's no other way except teaching in the classroom. So I'm, I'm trying to bring this technology to everybody to use. Once they use this one, the classroom teaching get, can be better. And even the students don't have to come to the class, they can watch this one from everywhere. They can make a question and answer more clearly, as like I'm doing now. So the, uh, this, this way of teaching the, the uh, students, I, I'm sorry to uh, tell Mohav <laughs> for the students, but anyway, that way, Every people on this classroom can watch Moha video there. That way we can make a more interactive way. I know the Zoom, uh, Zoom background virtual make this kind of problem. So they, they make a small cosmetic change of the Moha face, <laughs> like here. But anyway, my Kermak is much more professional uh, there. So uh, I hope uh, the, uh, all the classroom here is like I'm talking, classroom 
teaching. Whatever they do normal class, we just bring small our device to make a telepresentation there using the many other methods we are providing. So this, this way we can change the uh, video meetings. Now everybody believe tele presence from many con company like a Cisco machine, like a Polycom machine, many Sony machine, everybody say telepresence. What I'm emphasizing here is a real telepresentation. So if you type the telepresentation in Wikipedia, what is surprising is Wikipedia doesn't have this kind of a telepresentation terminology definition. Nobody really define the Wikipedia world for telepresentation. Only they say telepresent is uh, possible. So today I am telling to you that this way, if you agree, this is really opening the new era of telepresentation. Once we really make the classroom to everywhere, you have to <coughs> propose me as a Nobel Peace Prize. If everybody agree, make a big cloud here. Let's give the big cloud to Dr. Kim, he's okay. an innovation. Thank you very much. Anyway, so thank you. Mm, this yeah, is I welcome the Kim Ban Padegurong from the Social Public School Pokhara, okay. and uh, Mrs. Anita Dahal from Pokhara University. Welcome this Zoom meeting. Okay, welcome. Dr. Kim, please forward. Okay. So, uh, if you look at the history of uh, classroom, if you look at the way of teaching in uh, everywhere, like uh, Greece, uh, the error, like uh, the time when Newton teaching in the uh, the uh, Cambridge University, imagine <coughs> that time there was no blackboard. So how they how they make uh, uh, Newton second law, Newton's first law. When Einstein came in 1915, uh, special uh, general uh, relative theory, there was a blackboard. So when you see the Einstein, there's a blackboard. But the blackboard classroom has been has been used in the uh, history more than 200 years. Actually, almost 100 years they use. But now, when you have a COVID, the blackboard cannot show to the students who is sitting in outside. Even they bring the all the different way of broadcast technology it cannot be used for the creating of presentation. So I use a virtual electric whiteboard method for teacher to show their presenting material like a PowerPoint PDF or any image, any video from your mobile phone, I can show from this uh, virtual uh, monitor screen. For example, now when I have my camera here, so I can show, for example, some, some of my uh, uh, my picture in my, uh, in my, uh, the, as soon as I bring here, I can, I can show here some picture like this. If I click, I have uh, friends from, uh, from the, uh, there, and I can show my, uh, my company logo to remind you. My company name is uh, Tarim, which means the, uh, the iron who, to make a flat, uh, flattening all the fabrics, the iron with the heating to make a flattening your uh, fabric. So the tarim, now creating the new uh, new way, how we change the way of presentation. So I hope you uh, bring this idea to everywhere for making tele-presentation and also tele-education. So even you are not, once you have a the notebook which has a graphic acceleration like NVIDIA or whatever which is more than now maybe $1,000 something then this 3D graphic is working inside so even in the uh, traveling airplane even in the traveling car now we, ha we are living in the 4G uh, generation which means more than uh, several megabps video coming to, to everywhere from your uh, mobile phone which means you can do same presentation from mobile phone to uh, the uh, notebook to uh, to any place in the world. So that way we now time to make a presentation. For example, this is Korea uh, KTX, which is a, a bullet train, mm. which is learning 300 km per hour. I'm doing this Skype with uh, friends in Beijing from my training. You know, this is the train inside of training. This is unbelievable time we have this kind of a uh, uh, situation. This is a classroom where I'm teaching from from the England to the classroom in Korea. 
exactly the same video I'm doing with you. That time uh, is uh, five years ago, we do peer to peer, one, one place to another place. But now I'm doing multiple people from one place. So there are many uh, examples I made, so I won't put this one in notebook, I won't put this one in meeting room, I won't put this one in the, uh, uh, for example, in classroom, I won't put this one in existing studio. If you look at all the studio in everywhere, the studio normally doesn't operate 20 or 30% per, per day. But once you put this machine in existing studio, it will change the way of using because there's no other people uh, required to operate this machine except the presenter himself. Once you come to this class, put your USB PowerPoint file and you can do in real time. Open the Zoom, open the Facebook page, so this one will go. You see the my page now doing live presentation in my Facebook. So the students in the Zoom make a real time communication. But students in outside of the classroom, they can make a Facebook watching, which means unlimited students can watch. I can show the, the, my, uh, my Facebook uh, live. For example, the, uh, in my page here, I can bring the, uh, where is the Facebook live? For example, this one. So you see, this is uh, the Facebook live where I can show my face. Facebook so I can I can bring this video or uh, Facebook video uh, bigger you will see uh, this. I can show the the my uh, uh, my see there's a time uh, delay uh, for but example this is uh, exactly the, what you saw uh, a second before here I can bring the so uh, th uh, this is exactly how I'm working for the live you see the all the switching now here is a real time I can show it. Facebook screen, I can show uh, Zoom screen, I can show the PowerPoint there. So the presenter has the tools, just the mouse clicking, they can switch from one scene to another scene. Not only the content change, but also they can make a virtual camera change for students to, uh, to concentrate where they should watch. This is an artificial intelligence function to switching without any production director involved. So for the Self-presentation, we need uh, several, several uh, steps. One is making beautiful studio in a, uh, in a second. For example, I can bring the different desk. So here we have a, we have a desk like this. Then you have a new desk here. So from this desk, you can make a teaching in a different way from there. Of course, floor change, wall change, outside change, many different ways we can, we can use this technology. The second step, as you see many, many video, once you uh, move the pointer, this one will go. All switching, you don't have to worry about switching by yourself or other operator. This one made by automatically from this machine. That day we can really make a classroom, not only virtual today I'm using, but also we can make an AR class. So that way we really are changing the way of classroom. So which means we can really do Telepresentation things. Uh, only thing I want to show more is uh, if you uh, if you have the uh, PowerPoint note. So the sorry for this Korean Korean character coming out. The every page you can put the note, which will bring this page note on this titling automatically. This is another pattern technology how we make a real time titling from your PowerPoint. So when teacher coming, they should write some, some note, whether we can show on here or other place. That means they can really making all the important things for broadcasters doing this one together. That's uh, uh, all tools we are, we are providing. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much for, for my presentation listening. My English, of course, not perfect, but I uh, hope you understand. Yeah, thank uh, you. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Thank Kim. Thank you very much. Let's yeah. give one more the club to appreciation, uh, Dr. Kim. Uh -huh. So I must welcome the Ramkrishna Panthi, uh, the the, mm. the Tribune University, the mathematics the teacher, and the other the Suman Soba Kandhova from the western part of Nepal, eastern part of Nepal. Uh -huh. The Kishore Pageni in the Bhairava. Uh, so they are the the join here. So uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Kim. Uh, okay. I would like to have uh, two 
or three people commented or and I have a question answer. Uh -huh. uh, before that, the Buddhi Karki, uh, the Sudip Sudip Karki from Australia, uh -huh. uh, he want to see something. Sudip Sudip Karki from Australia, please. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, uh -huh. uh, thank you, uh, Sivan Yapanisar. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Let's welcome the the Sudip Karki. Uh, he is working so hard from Australia. And uh, please, uh, you have time. Please forward. Okay. Thank you. Uh, namaste, uh, everyone. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much, uh, Dr. Kim. That was a fantastic uh, presentation. Um, as uh, Siva says, uh, my name is Sudip Karki. Currently, I'm in Sydney. Just to give you a, a small background that uh, I've been working in Nepal since last uh, few years uh, to help uh, mainly in education sector. And uh, we are also uh, working uh, in agriculture and uh, uh, health uh, sector as well. But mm -hmm. I want to go a little bit more into uh, education sector. So basically, we are more involved in school education uh, to empower uh, the teachers and as well as students uh, uh, in terms of uh, teaching and, and learning. Mm -hmm. So basically, at the moment, uh, uh, as you know, this uh, COVID, um, uh, as it came, uh, that uh, it has uh, brought uh, a lot of issues uh, at the same time. Uh, opportunities as well, uh, especially uh, in uh, teaching and uh, learning. Uh, and obviously, at the moment, uh, before this presentation, I was uh, speaking with a number of uh, uh, army schools uh, in, in Nepal. Uh, they are looking uh, uh, for a way uh, to deliver uh, the content in more in an engaging way. And at the same time, uh, also had uh, to uh, have uh, the assessment and, and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, I believe after watching your presentation, Dr. Kim, it's a, it's a fantastic uh, augmented reality which you can create uh, so many dimensions uh, sitting at uh, one place and obviously making it more uh, engaging and, and obviously also delivering uh, the complex uh, content. Uh, I believe that there is more to explore in your system. Uh, I'm also assuming that uh, we would be able to present like a, a 3D uh, kind of a modeling, for example, how the respiratory system works or uh, how uh, the heart functions or, uh, you know, uh, all uh, the skeleton uh, system of the body, just for an example. And at the same time, I believe uh, there are a number of uh, participants, distinguished participants here who are involved in agriculture. Uh, I believe uh, there are so many opportunities in coming days in Nepal uh, to uh, more into in, in a farming, like empowering uh, the farmers uh, how to grow uh, plants uh, and uh, what are the elements involved uh, in uh, pest control and uh, looking after uh, the plants and so on. So in, in that case as well, uh, obviously, uh, as you know, uh, Nepal uh, has got diverse kind of a geographical topography uh, kind of thing and it might not be possible for an instructor to go to each and every part of the country. So centralized uh, classroom where if we can actually demonstrate uh, how uh, things works uh, or uh, the, uh, converting uh, the teaching uh, material into a very engaging way, the way Dr. Kim present, I think that would be a paradigm shift uh, in uh, coming days. So I don't want to take too much time, but just to uh, let you know, uh, all the participants uh, here, uh, we are from Eduwise uh, Nepal, uh, and we are working on to deliver uh, uh, the content uh, through uh, learning uh, management system, as well yeah. as we are also working on to automate uh, the uh, uh, management uh, process as well. But I don't want to go in the automation side. It's more around content uh, delivery side. Uh, so um, this augmented reality or virtual reality or uh, creating uh, a studio uh, where uh, you can uh, control or uh, you can uh, participate, number of participants in an interactive uh, model as well as uh, present in a such a way, such an engaging way, you know, that could be very, very uh, powerful. Uh, and I think uh, this is 
uh, a great opportunity for Nepal as well uh, to step uh, further uh, mm. and uh, acknowledge uh, and actually look forward to uh, implement uh, this kind of uh, uh, technology because uh, there is nothing that can hinder us. Um, mm. There is nothing that we have to be behind uh, this one because uh, uh, technology uh, is uh, for everyone. It doesn't have to be only for the Western country. And I believe uh, the penetration of internet and obviously there's a bit of a limitation at the moment. Uh, but again, uh, three years ago, we were having issues uh, with uh, um, the electricity, but we have overcome that now. So we've got to be more optimistic. And I believe uh, in, in coming days, there will be fiber optics uh, and internet will be uh, everywhere. There's a mobile penetration already there. So I think this is a great opportunity for us to take a step further. Uh, and again, I'd like to really sincerely thank uh, Sivan Nepani sir for bringing this uh, forum together and very, very my uh, sincere thanks to Dr. Kim uh, for your great pre presentation. Um, uh, and I look forward to, you know, learn more about this. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, thank you again. I, I'd like to conclude my... Uh, yes, thank words. you very much from the Sudeep Kaki sir from Australia. Uh, I would like to give some comment uh, to opportunity to uh, Professor Hombad Basnet. Uh, can you ask some questions, sir? To so, Dr. Kim, mm. if you have something, please. Thank you, Siva, sir. Thank you informing and giving me an opportunity to be the part of this virtual seminar mm. regarding the presentation, how to do in the classroom or something like that. Mm -hmm. As a professor in university, this has given me an, uh, really the good information how to use the tools to teach the students. Mm -hmm. uh, now I have been teaching mm -hmm. my students, like I have the bachelor students, I have the master students, and as well I have the PhD students mm -hmm. in my classroom. And we have been practicing the Zoom teaching method. Yeah. But uh, you have shown this uh, beautiful classroom style, yeah. and my beginners. <laughs> Really the background also, uh, impressive background, which uh, will improve our teaching. Professor, yeah. That's why I would like to thank Dr. Kim. Uh, I, I, uh, sir, I have not much question to ask him. Okay, okay. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, we will continue. We have uh, just thought. Uh, I would like to start a very short uh, time to the Professor uh, uh, the Lachman Gawli, sir from the Kathmandu University. Sir, please. Dutchman, sir. Sorry, I was just speaking with a muted phone, microphone. Sorry. Uh, thank yeah. you, Sir, sir for the opportunity. And I'm, I'm really impressed by um, the presentation of Dr. Kim. Uh, it looks like, um, I don't know, a magic, <laughs> a magic show. Uh, I, I, I used to watch when I was a kid, um, but now it, uh, there's a reality here. Uh -huh. um, uh, it's been four months that I have been teaching from this chair and then I use, um, I use le Zoom less, I use Google Meet. Uh -huh. uh, and then we use Moodle as a learning management system. Okay. Um, uh, they're quite complicated uh, in, in management, but still we have learned and we now use them. Yeah. Uh, but this, this, sometimes we feel that we are not in the class or the connection between the teacher and the students is, is not very good. Mm -hmm. uh, the, so it looks like a very mechanical, but now with this studio, I think, you know, we feel we are near, okay, yes. like virtual reality, as was earlier said by Sudeep said. Yeah. Um, so um, um, I'm really interested in, in this, uh, I don't know, in trying out something. Yeah. Uh, but uh, can you tell me, Dr. King, is it connected to any learning management system? Or is it just the studio uh, for a seminar and webinar? Okay, so uh, now we have uh, three uh, professors and uh, teachers uh, make a question about the uh, learning management systems, or uh, we have uh, Moodles, uh, you know, the... Okay. the okay. The so Moodle, it's connected, yes? Yeah, all this uh, learning management is uh, exactly learning management. What, ah, okay, uh, what okay. YouTube is a uh, content management. I mean, uh, uh, this, this device, in addition okay. to learning management, in addition to other technology, CMS, 
Now this machine is providing content, teaching content yeah. in real time. Okay, okay, thank okay, you. So it thank has you. to work with uh, a, yeah, learning management without any problem okay. because it's simple video. Okay, oh. thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I was I was just thinking, you know, um, we've been talking about education uh, 4.0 yeah. uh, parallel to uh, uh, Industrial Revolution 4.0. <laughs> I think this studio has proved that education is now going 4.0. No, no, uh, and plus, uh, I, I see that uh, the uh, the uh, the difference here. I mean, the demarcation between face to face class and then online class now will come together. Right. It, it's it's a it's a it's, a, it's a, online, but it's face to face. Right. So maybe we will need universities having less space, less buildings, you know, and less less you know campus, our small campus, and yeah. then you know people can study with the same feel same yes. you know kind of interaction uh, yes. with the with the colleagues from any any parts of the country or maybe outside the country right i'm really impressed i would like to learn more about it and maybe we don't know because uh, we have been running online classes degree, master's degree classes in my university for the last six years mm -hmm. and this year the pandemic actually brought more facilities Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, more opportunity for trying out these things, and we're fully online. I've been sitting on this chair, and we teach, and we take examinations, and then we work, we do group work and and things and presentations. Everything is going fine. Yes. But this one is going to add something real life to the activities that we do. Thank you very uh, much. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah, yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, before that, uh, last uh, person, uh, if you like to somebody. Uh, want to something to ask please freely uh, you can ask uh, please uh, somebody one person please ask question dr kim otherwise i would like to ask the last uh, our one presenter uh, uh, both of thanks for buddhi karki uh, please buddhi karki give the uh, the last vote of thanks to this um, zoom conference buddhi karki sir So welcome Rajanji and I from Japan and international so we didn't have time exactly we want to finish one hour and we will have more time and uh, this is the first beginning and so Bhuti Karki please uh, give yes. Botox thanks. Dear all dignitaries, this is my pleasure to join this Zoom meeting. First of all I would like to uh, introduce myself before giving a word of thanks. Myself, I work in Wise Nepal as a um, uh, develop, uh, uh, developer of business. Um, I think today this is the right time uh, to introduce such type of uh, uh, technology. This is our opportunity and challenge. Challenge in this way we have suffered by COVID-19. Opportunity in this way we have uh, COVID because of COVID we are inside the room. Mm -hmm. And anyhow, somehow we have to provide uh, education, online system, by Zoom, anyway, we have to use technology. So uh, this is good chance to all and everybody uh, um, this is my opinion only in this connection wide of company and daring system is very very uh, uh, good uh, system and each system can be uh, perfectly uh, provide service us. Um, mm -hmm. I think so. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, I would like to thank all our uh, dignitaries, uh, thank all universities, uh, uh, Pokhara, Rampur, Agriculture uh, University, Tirbodi uh, uh, University, KU, all dignitaries. Individually, it is very difficult to uh, note down all names because more than 100 uh, dignitaries are participated here 
thank you so much all participants are uh, hearing us and uh, sharing knowledge and getting knowledge and uh, at last um, i would like to connect a few word in this connection why the company and dairy system mm -hmm. and we are eduai nepal uh, now we are working in nepal in australia likewise is in nepal um can be fusion each other to promote the education system in nepal this is my opinion thank you so much dr kim you are uh, providing such a wonderful time and such a uh, messageable uh thank you so much thank you very much uh, yeah thank you so much buddhi kaki sir uh mm. dr kim you have something to the last you have chance to two three minutes okay thank you very much for all the people so all the friends who is looking for the uh, next generation of education who is working hardly to overcome the covid 19s uh, which you, every people now suffering for the education uh, institute education the uh, the countries so education has to be go on even we have all the obstacles uh, this one is the uh, duty of all the teachers all the schools all the education ministry people we have to prepare for the future from the students so all the knowledge and experience has to be transferred to the students to bring them to into right their life that's the very important mission for all the people who is working now and i am trying to be a small contribution to make a presentation remotely to make a presentation uh -huh. in the smart world to make a lecture in the smart device which is called and smart and classroom so this machine bring okay. the classes like you're watching the right. the video here we call this is the uh -huh classroom from you your smart to device to this is one of the device for smart class so the smart class means uh, it doesn't matter the, the distance problem it doesn't matter whether the students here or not so i hope you really uh, contribute this one using this nice technology after that uh, we yes, can meet any time with your students okay thank you very much for yes. joining my classroom today yeah. and we can frequently talk yeah, and thank you thank, thank you. you dr kim mm. uh, we will continue keep in touch and uh, one day we welcome to nepal okay so uh, we are waiting for you and then let's thank you for all who attend the yeah, yeah. representative of the university representative school okay they will also continue, continue have, have a safe day. have a safe and second. then uh, see you and bye bye happy uh, sunday evening thank you very much thank you uh, bye bye everybody bye okay bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. thank you <laughs> yeah thank you very much welcome <laughs> Okay. So we will have a uh, continue. Thank you, Madam no, Sang from Japan, so, yeah. Thailand, Australia, yeah. and uh, uh, the, the Bhutan. And thank you very much. Thank and you. if you have some question, and a mail, uh, Dr. Kim Ali gave yeah, yeah, email address. Yeah, yeah. You can talk uh, directly with him, and we will have uh, more other things. Yeah. And we'll continue keeping touch and have a nice day. Okay. Thank you very much, and namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you very much, Shiva sir, for joining Hi. us. Namaste. Thank you so much, Shiva sir. Thank you so much, Shiva sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ajit, thank you very much.